Many engineers don't use CSS custom properties to their full potential. If you're only setting them at the root level and then using them inside components, you're likely missing out on their true power for building flexible components with multiple layout options. Let me show you what I mean. Let's say you need to build a hero component like this, where you want to allow editors to change the text alignment, aspect ratio of the image, as well as the focal point of the image. This is a very common front end task. Typically you'd build this component for a CMS to use across many pages with different content and images. So first we'll look into the old way of doing this and then we'll build it with this cool technique with CSS custom properties. If you haven't seen it before, you'll be amazed how much code and mental space you'll be able to save using it. Before CSS custom properties became widely supported, we had to use utility classes or inline styles or a combination of both. Here's how it typically works. The user picks, let's say, center text alignment in the CMS. We determine that on the back end and we update the utility class on that component that sets the text alignment to center, for example. Then user changes the text alignment and we update the utility class again. And inline styles work in a similar fashion. We just update inline styles instead of utility classes. Let me show you how this would work on this component and then we'll compare the old approach with the new one. Let's start with the text alignment utility class and see how it applies to this component. I have all my utility classes in one file here. So I'm just going to copy has text align center and pretend that this is the backend logic. Here is our hero. And if I add the utility class like that, we'll see that text alignment did change, but it changed everywhere, including the caption underneath the image. If that's the expected behavior, perfect, but I like the caption to be left aligned. So that's like the first issue that we're running into using this uh, utility class approach. Text alignment is inherited. And if you apply it to the top level div of the component, it will trickle down to all text elements unless they include their own text alignment. To fix this, we can apply the utility class only to the part of the component that needs text alignment or we can create an over like this part or we can create an override inside the component itself so it would look something like this hero and then we would create a uh, like copy this class and then make sure that it has text align left. So that would fix it. But I can tell you that this code stinks already because you're mixing two unrelated components here. As soon as you start introducing stuff like when this component is inside that component, use this special override, you'll run into unexpected behavior 100%. So don't do this in production. So I'm just going to remove that. Okay. So now what about aspect ratio? Let's go and grab one of the utility classes for aspect ratio. Let's say one by one. Aspect ratio is a property in CSS that's not inherited. So you cannot apply it to the top level div. So I actually have to find the image element and apply it to the image directly. So let's go and find it here. Image. Yeah, so I would need to apply a class to the image. So I'm just going to also edit it directly here on the page. So I'll do it. class, paste it in and it doesn't work. Let's see why it's not working. Um, because uh, it's not working because this selector has the specificity of zero, one, one, and my utility class here has the specificity of zero, one, zero. So the initial rule of the component is actually stronger than the utility class. So, okay, how can I fix that? I can add the important to the utility class or figure out another way to, I don't know, like rewrite the component in some way. So see, like using important is already a kind of messy. So not ideal. Now what goes for the focal point? Usually we adjust it using the object position property here, instead of setting it to center, we can set it to 50%, 50%. And we can also set this property in line. So for example, if I adjust it here, I can pretend that this is the inline style object position, we can set it to let's say 100% and then 50%. That would change the position of the focal point inside that image. So that's usually how you do it dynamically. You see where I'm going with this, right? To let editors change those three things, text alignment, aspect ratio of the image and focal point of the image, we need to do three separate things. So let's take a look at the markup again. To change the text alignment, we need to apply utility class here. 
to change the aspect ratio, we need to apply utility class to the image. And also to change the focal point, we need to add inline style to the image as well. Now that's where the CSS variables approach comes in. Let me show you how much simpler it is. The idea is that for every aspect of the layout that we want to be editable, we create a variable that is scoped to the component. In case of text alignment, I create a variable called text align and we set it, give it a default value. So if I want it to be center by default, I set it to center. And then we use this variable only on elements that need it. So for example, on in our case, we want it only on hero content. So we create hero content rule here and we add our variable like this. And what this allows us to do is add inline style at the top level of the component. It would look something like this style. And then we set text align and then dynamically in the back end, we would change this value from center to left to right, and that will change the alignment of hero content element. It will not touch anything else. And next we will add the aspect ratio. So we'll do, uh, I'll call it media aspect ratio, and I'll give it a default value of four by three because that's what we want. And I will also create a variable for focal point, but I will not create one, I'll create two variables because I want uh, one variable for X axis and another variable for Y axis. I'll call it media focal point x 50% and focal point y 50%. And then I'll just use these variables on the image and here as well. Perfect. See, instead of dynamically updating markup in three different places to change those aspects of the layout, the only thing we need to do with the approach with the CSS custom properties is update the inline styles at the top level of the component. We're just swapping the variables. So here's the finished markup wired to that mini CMS widget that I showed you at the beginning of the video. I'm using Alpine.js to uh, manage the state between the widget and the markup itself. But under the hood, you see that I'm only swapping the, the variables that we just created previously. Uh, focal point X, focal point Y, media aspect ratio, and text align. And that updates the layout dynamically. Now, if I inspect the finished version of the component here and change the toggles, you'll notice that the only thing that's changing is the inline style. So pay attention here. If I change the text alignment from left to center to right, if I change the aspect ratio or change the focal point, the only thing that's changing is the inline styles and I'm just swapping the variables here. Super flexible, very cool approach. Hope you find this technique useful. I've been using it heavily on my projects. Let me know in the comments what you think and I'll see you in the next one.